Ah, uh, hello, and welcome to my Create to Learn at Home series, all about how I created what is now the Rude Gang Entertainment portable recording booth. In this series, I will be sharing the story of how I came to create this recording booth, plus some tips and tricks I learned along the way. As a beginner and non-engineer, it can be difficult to know where to start or what we really need in order to record our music. I hope these stories and tips can be useful to artists who would like to start building their own DIY booth. My name is Patrick Kelly, co-founder of Rude Gang Entertainment, coming to you straight from Rude Gang Studios in so-called British Columbia. In episode two of this series, we talk briefly about gear and things to keep in mind before you make big purchases. In this video, we are going to focus on the very basics of recording gear so that you can have a better idea of what you might need to record your music and why. Let's talk microphones for a second. Now, while I am certainly no expert on the technology or science behind microphones, experience has taught me that quality absolutely makes a difference. Some of us, during our earlier days, recorded on a simple computer microphone or just literally yelling at the laptop mic. Moving on to bigger, more superior USB microphones and then eventually the condenser mic. Of course, there is absolutely no shame in whatever quality of mic you choose to record with. But if you're going to go through the fuss of building yourself a great booth with sound quality in mind, I highly recommend investing in a top quality microphone to record with. If all goes well, your investment will eventually be able to pay for itself. Below your microphone is where you will find the shock mount and of course the mic stand. Both of which can be easy to overlook, but depending on the type of microphone you have, you may want to pay special attention to the type of microphone stand and shock mount that you plan on purchasing. After purchasing my Chaotica eyeball accessory, we noticed that instead of achieving a clearer sound like we hoped, we were actually getting more foreign sound in our recordings than before. We did some research and discovered that we had maxed out the weight requirements on our old shock mount and quickly replaced it with a stronger one. At that point, we found that we were still hearing small sounds on our recordings. Once we took a closer look at our gear, we realized that our mic stand was loose and moving around during recording sessions. Once the mic stand was replaced with a stronger version, our sound quality increased in a very noticeable way. The best thing you can do for the sake of sound quality in your studio is invest in a good amount of studio foam and carefully place the foam around your booth to effectively reduce foreign sound in your recordings. Once you have taken this step in creating your booth, I am certain you will hear and feel a significant change in quality. So let's recap. One, invest in a good quality microphone. Whether through donation, trade, or financing, try to find yourself a good quality microphone that is going to make your voice sound like butter. Two, details matter. Things like foam, a pop filter, shock mount, and a good sturdy mic stand can make the difference between a good clean recording or a muddled recording. Be sure to join me in my next video, where we are going to be talking about software and ways to learn the ropes. Once again, my name is Patrick Kelly, a.k.a. Hope from Status Crew and Rude Gang Entertainment, and I'll see you in our next video.